Coming up this week, we got another surprise for you guys. We got this beautiful 2023 992 Porsche Carrera 4S. And we're gonna take it around these North Georgia mountains and see what she does as it's in one of my favorite colors, red and black. That's what we got coming up. I'm Jay Walker, you're watching Life Off Road, right here on JW Motorsports. Welcome back to another episode of Life Off Road. Thanks again for hitting that play button, folks. And remember to go to my YouTube channel, click the thumbs up button, like, and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel, it really helps us out. The vehicle we're featuring this week, we're in presence in automotive royalty once again. This is a 2023 Porsche 992 4S Carrera. It's very hot out here, folks, so y'all gonna have to bear with me. But this is a beautiful car. Belongs to a good buddy of mine, Joey. Let's bring Joey back. Joey, as you saw the last time, we took a ride in his 488 Spider, and he's back, and this is his other baby. Joey, good to see you again. Good to be here. Let's talk about this beauty, man. You know, Porsche was probably one of my favorite all-time sports cars. I always dreamed about having a Porsche 911. I mean, even going back to the early movies in the 80s. So this is a treat, man. So. Tell us about this one. What made you go out to this? I know you're a Porsche guy as well. So Yeah, this is my 19th Porsche. 19, uh, folks. You heard that. My first Porsche I had was a 944 Turbo when I was 21. Okay. And uh, just kind of been hooked <laughs> on the brand ever since then. Um, this particular one, I had a uh, 2020 992 4S cab, mm -hmm. which was agate gray and Bordeaux red. And so I specifically ordered this color. This is Carmine Red, okay. uh, which is a little deeper red than Garth's Red. Right. And I uh, kind of specced it myself with the clear amber lights and the gloss black. Um, did the um, 4S package on there. Um, so I have the gloss black instead of the matte black on there. And right. these are some wheels that I've had on a couple of different cars. So I just kind of interchanged them out. It's great looking wheels, man. I mean, from the start. And these come with, I believe, you got a set of uh, 245s on the front and probably some 305s in the back. Gives a nice staggered stance. Correct. Of course, you know, your car, I don't know if these are carbon ceramic brakes. They look like they Those are. aren't. Not. They're not. Okay. No. Steel rollers, cross drilled. I believe you got six pistons, fronts, four in the rears. Great car. I love that. Now, have all your Porsches been convertibles? or? Yeah. They have? Okay. Yeah, it's on the 911s. Okay. Um, so of course the 944s, right? They did come with the uh, uh, S2 a while back, but yeah, after that, I mean, I've always bought convertibles because I enjoy that, you know. Yeah, you're like me, man. I'm a convertible guy. I love, I love convertible. People always complain about it. It gives more weight, but it's nothing like having the top down, especially if you're in a powerful car. Right. You know. Now, I believe these come with roughly around. 448 horsepower, I believe. 447, 448. Yeah, somewhere in the mix. Yeah. And of course, the engine is mounted in the rear. We'll take a look at that in a minute, folks. But just the attention to detail as far as these go. Now, have you been to the, the port? I'm sure you probably have the Porsche experience down in, in I've been out there. Correct. You've been around. Yeah. The have you taken this on the track? I actually or? hadn't taken it on the track. Yeah. I'm sure this would be quite fun. I would be very anxious to, to see how this would be able to handle. <laughs> Now, how about how long have you had this one, you said? I bought this one uh, on my son's birthday, which was November the 22nd. <laughs> ah. <laughs> so. Shout out to the son. Nice little birthday present. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. he probably. Now, how many times has he driven it? He's driven it before because, I mean, we'll, I'll take the Ferrari out, and he's drive, driven this one before just to kind of go out and have a little fun. So we, we've done that. Mm -hmm. Let's swing around, Kyle. I want you to get a look at this interior because this is a nice, I mean, you spec this out. This is kind of how I would spec a car out. You know, this all black interior. You got your all digital dash, tachometer right in the center. You know, this is more of a subtle fighter jet. Right. It's not as aggressive as a Ferrari, but right. it's still a very nice cockpit. Oh yeah, yep. Now, was... curiosity, at, the ones you've had before, have you ever owned any of the, the manuals or you always go for the automatic or? Because I don't even know if the they even make The manuals very first that. 911 I had was a stick and uh, and it was fun, but I, you know, this Georgia traffic, Atlanta <laughs> traffic. Right. So it was tasking. So, and of course, uh, you know, you have the peers, some that say, you know, it's not a real sports car. Of that's course. A stick, blah, blah, blah. 
But of course, with technology, I mean, no human can shift faster than no. a computer. No. And so just the ability to be able to still enjoy the performance and not have to do that much work right. is appealing to me. So, right. Um, so I'm good. I mean, I, I do have a friend that has a 992 and a stick, and it was his first one, and he right. loves it. So, you know, it's just a personal preference, but I prefer the uh, automatic. Cool, cool. Let the computer do what the drummers let it yeah, do. Yeah, that's what it's made for, man. Especially with the power of the, you know, the dual clutches in most of these cars now. Right. And the technology. I want is this this one all-wheel drive or is it just It is all-wheel drive. It is all-wheel drive. So it's drive. a 4S. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm sure off the line, I mean, launch control. Oh yeah. I mean, it it, it gets out the box. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Nice, nice. As we swing around the back, I want to take a look at this this rear cuz this is probably one of my favorite parts of the car just the back of the Porsche and for years Porsche has always kind of kept the same round especially on the 911s just of course the newer they get they've been more wider but they always kept kind of that Certainly. 911 shell man you can really see it from the distance but I love the rear diffuser the pipes I mean it's flush nicely done very very clean look like I said man you you probably had me in your head specking this thing. This is exactly how I was specking out, me. Because the, the attention to detail, folks, I mean, just with the black, the gloss, the clear, you know, the rear diffuser, I mean, it's just, just like how I would have done it. While we're back here, let's, let's take a look at the engine real quick. can't really see much but that's, that's i'm about to say that's all yeah i forgot yeah, yeah of course you can't yeah. really <laughs> see the engine you yeah it's not really much to see folks when you have the engine you can just see just a couple of fans where you add your oil that's about it i mean it's not really much to see but the engine does sound very nice. The whole convertible feel with these cars, I mean, the, the technology, go to car shows, I mean, this is the science behind it. I mean, it's just, it's just pure gold, man. Now, I believe this spoiler does, you can let the spoiler up and down mm -hmm. as you, you want, right? You can hold it. Get a shot of his interior while he's uh. You can stay put, Joey. I kind of want to okay. go over the, the the gauge cluster here. Okay. As you see, folks. I mean, this is all digital. You got your nice screen. Tachometer is in the center. 200 mile an hour dash. Very nice. Joey just demonstrated us, you know, how the spoiler goes up and down, which I really like on these models. You know, most cars, you know, the spoiler will only come up as you're driving. You know, over 60 miles an hour so I do love you have that option to be able to control that right but I believe this has made it to I want to say a seven speed dual clutch got gearbox right so I'm sure launch control it gets out the box we'll try that out a little later but since we got the top down nice little hot day let's take it out for a ride all right here we go 2023 Porsche 992 Carrera 4S, folks. Rolling with my good man Joey here. Joey, I really appreciate you letting us come up, man. This is uh, this has been a blast so far. It's a, it's a hot, steamy day. We got the air blasted, but we could not do a review without this car's top being there. It's, it's only the way to be to be made to drive. Yes, yeah, so this car got cool, air cool seats that Ferrari don't. Oh, really? Yeah. Man. Point goes to Porsche. You're right, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I would have thought Ferrari would have came with that. That's, that's odd. Yeah, they, they kind of, they're more of, uh, I guess, a build your car and give you the <laughs> basics and make it fast. And yeah. High quality. They don't, a lot of the perks, they kind of, 
Yeah. You know. I did have them in the Portofino though. Yeah. Wow. So they do have it available, but you, you can't get it with the carbon racing seats. No. Because they're not even power. They don't. You yeah, those are manual. Power. Yeah, that's why I remember those are manual. But how many homes y'all have in this subdivision? It was slated for 75, but. Uh, I, I, it's probably, well, they built quite a few, because for a long time it was like 20, 25, so it's probably 40 plus or maybe 50 now, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, for a long, like you say, you've been in here for a minute and they still building. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's... You play golf? You get out here on the course much? I play, I don't play, as, I only been on that course one time. Really? Um, Cause I'm a, obviously I'm a resident, but I didn't join the club because I don't uh, play enough yeah. to justify the cost for membership. So yeah, maybe when I retire I'll <laughs> have a little more time. But I hear you. Right now I'm working to keep paying for these tours. I like. I hear. You. Speaking of retirement, because I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments from folks, and the first thing they're gonna want to know is, what does Joey do for a living? So I own a company called VDS Business Solutions, which is an office supply, office furniture uh, dealership, and uh, we sell to mostly the government agencies and major, major corporations. Mm -hmm. So I've owned it for 25 plus years. Okay. And uh, so it's it's you know been a blessing, been a good business, and then of course. Been a big car nut. I have another company called Drop Top Automotive where we deal with uh, automotive products. You know, we're a Lexani dealer. Oh, okay. uh, we, uh, you know, the smart top controller on this car and on the Ferrari. We sell those. Nice. And, um, and then I have my waterless car wash and detail product that, as of right now, the name is called Whip White. We're kind of still playing with names. Mm -hmm. um, but it's an amazing product, so we're really excited about launching it because it's uh, great for keeping the pesky fingerprints off of the computer screen since all of the newer cars are pretty much an iPad right. driving around. And then on the exterior of the car and on the windows, it does great because it takes about, I could detail my car completely in 15 minutes with no water. Right. It looks like detail for two or three hours. Now, I remember you showing me that at, when we met at the uh, the Italian day at the car show. Right. And it's an amazing product. I mean, it's, uh, I'm telling you folks, as, as he demonstrated earlier, you know, if you look at some of the clips, he, he just basically sprays it on and it just wipes off and it feels <laughs> like a baby's bottom. I mean, it's very, yeah, it's it's very smooth and feels like it's freshly waxed. Definitely a good product. I would definitely once you get everything sorted oh, out. Certainly, yeah. Like I said, I'll buy a whole supply from you. Now, one question I did have to ask in reference to that, because I know a lot of key people like Charles, his car is wrapped. A lot of people go with the the wrap or the this uh Sony. Do you have a product that's kind of similar to oh, no, this, this, you, this one works this, fine for that? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's universal. All different finishes. There's the police over there. Oh, I. Yeah. Well, it's 55. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Not no, I'm just saying. 50. I'm just saying. That's how they be. Kind oh, of, they be scoped out. Oh right yeah, here. yeah. Just yeah. So. Yeah, folks. You know, you have to watch out for Johnny Law. And do they kind of just roll beside you sometimes? Do they pretty much know who you are as far as your cars? They see you quite a bit. I'll be up here. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, my cars are pretty unique in the probably the color so right i guess Especially i have to see red. it a couple yeah. of times they know i i haven't had any issues though so i'm yeah. you know it's been fine i really don't drive fast a lot yeah i mean this this is very comfortable i can instantly take a road trip in this thing I oh mean, yeah i'm sure like a day like today just driving up these back roads going up the mountains i mean it's this is perfect it rides a lot smoother than from the last Porsche. That, I mean, it's been years since I've been inside the Porsche, but just over the years, of course, technology and everything gets better. But the drivability, I mean, this is 
Definitely a driver's car. Oh, certainly. And we just got back from a trip with our Porsche club from Nashville about a couple of weeks ago. Uh-huh. And drove through the mountains. And we were driving spirited up there. So, uh, yeah, but it was it, it's, it's a great car to drive. And I'll jump in it and just go because it's low to no maintenance. Now, how fun, now how fun was it? going up and down the rock going to Nashville 20 for Mont Eagle. Oh, that was, that was I, great. I'm sure it was amazing. That I think we had about change. we had about 20 You know what? Cars. Was that recently cuz I saw I saw quite a few of course well going up 85 recently they was going I don't know if they was going past Charlotte and no. they might have went up and stayed maybe a week but I remember I was driving up cuz I drive past Charlotte with every day okay and I saw a row of them just in the HOV lane and you saw them from the old school to the newer ones right right they was about eight or nine deep and and coming back I saw them again but there was a lot more of them coming back okay. so I was like it must have did like a little Porsche you know maybe a show or something so yeah it could have been yeah we went up in Nashville but that was good though I mean we enjoyed it we do it once a year oh okay and uh one of the members lives up there so he orchestrates everything, does a great job of laying it out. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we, we, we look forward to it and enjoy it. It gets better each year. Yeah, I can imagine. Now, how often does your wife drive this? Is she driving it all? Is she kind of in the cars, too, or she's kind of she, just... No, she's in the car. She has a Macan GTS. No oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, she, yeah, she's at Panamera. But she doesn't drive, she likes to kind of ride uh, more often than, than drive. Right. So, but my kids, my daughter and my son, they try to drive whenever they can. So. Yeah. Which I get. Oh yeah, man. It's like, hey dad, you know, do anything later on? Which one can I take it out? Yeah. But they can only drive with me in the past. You won't let him take it solo. Uh, uh, it's just, you know, it's just I know that's right. On, so. Woo! Yeah, you feel that all-wheel drive, folks? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you really feel it. <laughs> it just merge, okay. and then it merges back. Yeah. I got you. But then you say it opens back up, right? Oh, down. Okay. Never taking this thing on the track at all, have you? Yeah, I don't track my phone. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm too anal about keeping the appearance up, so I just. Yeah. And like, so I've had so many of them till. I'm about to say, 19 forces, man. That's <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Of course, folks, you have all the safety features. You know, the rear mirror that lets you know there's a car in your blind spots. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure this thing centers you in the lane to keep cars, you know, keep you from running off on the curve or whatnot. You know, actually, that's a driver assist, and I had it on the last car, but I really didn't use it that much. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't order on this car. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just, you know, lane keep assist is really important. Yeah, I mean, I know we're coming to this AI with the autonomous, right. autonomous cars, and then it's going to happen regardless. Yeah. But right now, I just, I like the, I enjoy the feel of driving myself. Yeah. Yeah. Now, have you ever thought about owning an EV car, like the Taycan? Yeah, and you're yeah. One of those? I, I've driven the Taycan, uh, the Turbo and the Turbo S. Okay. Amazing car. Uh, the only reason why I don't have one is because the range, because of where I live. Yeah. You know, how much we drive, it would be a little inconvenient. Kind of defeat the purpose. Have to kind of, yeah, so. Yeah. Once they can do, uh, once I, if they had one with a four or 500 mile range, I'd buy one. Yeah. I think the last uh, EV we did, the, um, the e-tron from Audi, and um, it had a range of like two, like 270. Right. This is very easy. Oh yeah, it was it was real controversial when they first came out with it because you know it was calling it the big shaver shifter <laughs> and on 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 you know and it's like uh, Max I had a nine nine one S uh, nineteen and uh, 
you know, reading all the reviews a lot of times, I mean, people, they have their own opinions. Right. And so uh, when I when I was, I actually had my car in the service or something. And, uh, and I told him, I said, no, I don't want to drive it because I know me, if I drive and I like it, I'm going to buy it. You're right, you're going to buy it, right? And so I drove it and I was kind of like, I don't know what reviews these people are looking at. This car is amazing. Right. So, yeah, so it's, it's a great car. I love it. Yeah. It's an amazing car, man, especially with today's car, with the technology. I mean, it's, you know something you can go out to dinner in, go for a nice drive or take it to the trap you have those those right. options right. I mean, that's the the best of, of all worlds man but it's it's very nice they have great handling great speed uh, you know i mean they, they just did a great job with the car yeah now i do like how everything is kind of centered like with the tachometer being in the middle right here kind right. of like the ferrari too i do love that right gives you more or one with the car yeah now how often do you put this in manual mode when you go through the the paddle systems or do you, you don't do that much uh, it just depends on maybe who's it's on like the drive man. yeah i mean i just kind of but know. yeah i can imagine on a, a, a cruise in i'm sure all y'all yeah. Playing around. Drive a little spirit to that way, so it's been good. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely got to be a, a fun experience. And of course, you dial in to that's Sport. Oh, okay. And that's Sport, Sport Plus. Plus. Wow. You just, I heard remap, awesome. remap the whole car and wow. gives it a whole different feel. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. yeah. I love the fact you can do it while you're driving too. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. To, you know so you know how to take it out off the yeah off the road. So uh, it's pretty convenient, and it really does make a difference. You can feel the difference. Oh yeah. I had a buddy of mine who did the uh, experience, and you know he says that setup is like they have like I don't know it's like a wet track or something. Right. And the the instructor was telling him to, to gun it through, and he's like, man, I'm gonna lose. He's like, no, gun it through, and. Yeah. It held. I was like, wow. Oh, yeah, I love this. You always got to put it in Sport Plus mode, folks. You know, it's also opened up, changed the whole demeanor of the car, regardless of what you're in. Makes it kind of gurgle a little bit when you get off the, the exhaust, so. Yeah. Gives it a little more personality. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds great. Yeah. I was driving in this mode all the time. <laughs> I know you would burn more gas, yeah. but I wouldn't care. You, right. don't, you don't buy these to save fuel. No, no. Even though these pretty do pretty they, good they on do gas. They do really good. Yeah, I mean, I can get. I'm originally from Mississippi, so I can. I drove okay. it home uh, to my class reunion about a right. couple weeks ago. Okay. And uh, and so on one tank of gas, I mean, I can drive 400 miles. Oh, wow. You from Tupelo? What part of Mississippi? You from? Jackson, Mississippi. Jackson, Mississippi. Okay. Meet those guys a lot. That's about a six-hour drive. It's five and a half, six, just a bit. I love this whole gauge. This this digital everything. That's it's real nice. It's a oh, clean, yeah. Yeah. flush finish, and the turn radius is excellent. Did you have a few people trying you on the highway on that ride going oh, down? Always, always. <laughs> every, every time I drive it, either one I'm there, I always. Oh, yeah. When I was younger, though, I mean. Oh, yeah, you let it rip, man. Yeah. yeah. I don't really mess around too any much anymore. I mean, I get out and play, I mean, for myself, but, you know, we might play around, but I have to protect my license. Definitely. Speedy ticket won't be no fun for insurance. No, sir. Is this your first red car? Or? Uh, no. First one I had in a while, though. Yeah. I mean, my, nine, my 944 Turbo was guards red. It's the first 911. Yeah. <laughs> the 
some lights out, folks, and it it it, it goes. <laughs> it definitely goes. Yeah, my mom always hated the red cars, you know. So mostly, I'm sure sooner or later I might get one, cause I if I got a red car, it would be spec like this: the right. red, the black, black wheels. I mean, it's just it's such a clean look. If we hit the uh, button in the center. Just have to be careful. So go. Go. Get. Oh. And then remap the system so you don't have to do this. Wow. Yeah, that's the race mode. So you get on the gas, I mean, it'll go. Yeah. Yeah, I felt it. Just just that little bit. Love that downshift, man. Woo -hoo. Just breaks it down, man. Yep, yep. Just breaks it down. It's just instant, man. I mean, there's no, no turbo lag or anything. It's just, it's just go, man. <laughs> sure you don't. I wouldn't. But all the features, I mean, it, it really definitely keeps you just centered with the car as far as it's very intimate in here. That's one of the first things I've noticed. It's kind of sitting in. Well, that's it for this week, folks. I want to thank my good buddy Joey for allowing us to come up and drive this baby. I mean, this Porsche, man, one of my favorite all-time cars to drive. I mean, it was a blast and, you know, if you ever have a chance to get your hands behind one of these wheels, uh, do it, man. Knock yourself out, it was a blast. Uh, we don't have any new subscribers today because I ran out the new subscribers last week. It's been a busy weekend for us, so I appreciate the newly subscribing, subscribing and I appreciate my current subscribers. And uh, you go to my website, jwmosports.com, Order you some merch, got t-shirts and everything. I uh, want to thank my help today, Juwan, his buddy Kyle. You can follow them on their Instagram. Juwan is at Jeddock, J-E-D-D-O-C dot L-L-C. Kyle is at No Outlet Photos on Instagram. And also, Joey's son was our navigator today. I forgot, what's your son's name? Jay. 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 Uh, duh. Can't hardly forget that, but want to thank Jay for helping us. He helped us navigate around these back roads, and we had a lot of blasts, a lot of fun. So that's it for this week, guys, and uh, we'll see you next time. Later. Well, Joey's going to demonstrate how his products work. What, what is, it's called mean? Whip Wipe is our unofficial name as of right now, to wipe your whip. It's a waterless car wipe and detail spray. So even if you wash your car, you still want to use this like lotion on your skin right. to make the finish move. But in the case where you don't have water, you don't need water. So you see this Macan GTS mm -hmm. 2022. And you want to be careful not to put it too hot of a surface, but this way I can kind of demonstrate it be different. So literally just spread it on, wipe it on, wipe it off. It's like a fresh coat of wax. And if you feel it with the towel, mm -hmm. it just yeah, it just goes right across. Yeah. Just, yeah, I mean, it feels like fresh coat of wax. Yeah, and I do the whole vehicle like that wow. within 15 minutes. Preferably, you don't want to be in the sun because of course, just like yeah. washing the car, waxing the car. Yeah, but that way you can kind of see. So you see different from here, here, and here. Right. It works on glass. Oh, so it won't even harm the glass. You can you can spray it on glass as well. Oh yeah, definitely use it on the glass. Oh okay. When your screens on the inside of the car, it's preferable to spray it on the towel mm -hmm. and then wipe, wipe it, it on, on and then wipe it off and buff it off. Okay. But yep. Yeah, so we're excited about launching it, getting the labels and the whole nine yards. So. Well, I definitely, like I said, man, as soon as you launch it, I definitely want my my share because. I love it, especially you know, my car is black. Yeah, and his fingerprints get on everything. So, right. So like it works great on, you know, these different surfaces. Right yeah, so, yeah, just gonna put it on. And literally, it's just that simple. 
I mean, go over the whole car. That's amazing that and look you at, can... Look at the difference between it. Right. Feel, feel this here. And yeah. then go there. It's nine days. Wow. So I've, I've kind of polled some of my customers to kind of get some words to come to mind when they use it. Yeah. And it's, you know, they kind of have that wow effect, so. Yeah. That's one reason why I had named it, because I want the name to be snappy. Yeah, great. catch on, right. But to also demonstrate what the product is. So. It's an amazing product, man. Like I said, the fact that you can use this on your glass, your windows, that's that's a game changer for me, because I hate using one thing, I gotta go get the Windex, and spray yeah. that. If I could use that for all, I mean, that's, and that's a your, game changer. And on your screen, because, you know, yeah. So, so females and males alike. Exactly. No matter what you drive, it's quick, easy. So we're gonna have a smaller, two or four ounce bottle. Cool. Make it convenient. So, you know, it's it's a good thing. So I'm gonna give you your own pack there, so you can test it out. Let me fill it up. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. It's an amazing finish, man. Just look at that. Like I said, just from touching right here, like my hand is struggling. My finger is struggling just to go across that. And it comes right here. It's just silky smooth. Yeah. So, in this, I recommend spraying it on the towel, wiping it on, wiping it off, buffing it off. And But yeah, and that way it just gets the fingerprint. So the windows, the windows show the best. That's price. but see that to me is like I said, and for me to use the same product on the paint and the window, that's because that, like that's it. You know how much time consuming that is too. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And you just spray it all at once. Yeah. yeah. Up and down, yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you go. You got that? Yes. <laughs> Man, if there. If